One of the main reasons why Thiago Santos is fighting for the title tonight is because we all agree that if he does connect, I don't see how any human being can withstand that power. UFC 239 was the biggest night of Thiago Santos' decade-long professional career. Thiago moving nicely, looks relaxed in there. Oh, that was nice. Facing arguably the greatest fighter of all time, Santos won the opening round of all three judges' scorecards. But to beat the best, you have to be at your best. Oh, Thiago hurt himself. He hurt himself. Santos. Maybe a one-legged fighter here. Early in the second round, Tiago shredded his knee. He's having a hard time moving on that left leg. Despite the injury, he continued to pressure Jones. Oh! 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 That looks like a torn ACL. Over five rounds, Santos left everything inside the octagon. John Jones and Tiago Santos go the distance. But it wasn't enough. He succumbed to a narrow 48-47 split decision. Not only did the biggest night of Santos' life end in disappointment, but the devastating injuries would require surgery, followed by a long recovery. How much different would this fight be if Tiago had two knees? The difficult journey ahead had only just begun. ligament injuries, the cartilage injuries, and also the bone injuries that he sustained during the fight were pretty extensive. We had to deal with bilateral fractures. We had to deal with an ACL, an MCL, and two meniscus tears that all occurred in his knees during that fight. How painful is this when I'm doing that? you feel pain? Então, acho que para eu conseguir lutar, continuar lutando, Fisicamente, não tenho como explicar, né? Nem o médico que me operou, ele conseguiu me explicar como eu consegui me manter de pé. Ooh, that's a tight spot. He's been a big trooper. He's so happy to be here. I mean, the excitement on this guy's face is just amazing. A lot of athletes have undergone these injuries before and sometimes have never made a full return. But we're really confident in Tiago. Not only is he there mentally, but he's also a very strong individual. The fact that he went through all five rounds with the injuries that he had, we really think he'll make a full recovery. Go ahead. Oh. And as long as there's no issues, we're going to keep pushing him in order to get back in that octagon. Okay. Ready? It's that mindset that has kept the Brazilian native going for 37 years. Santos has battled hardship and come out on top ever since birth. Thiago nasceu e ele nasceu bem, uma criança grande, de 4 kg de 200, enorme. E aí, mano, o que, que tem para comer? O cheiro tá bom, hein? Tá bom, né? O cheiro tá bom. <laughs> Quando ele com completou 2 anos, É, começou a ter uma ele começou a desenvolver o abdômen começou a crescer de uma forma que a gente ficava meio assustado né porque a gente não sabia o que era é, a médica disse que era uma doença chamada acite saladinha que já nasce depois você vai desenvolvendo aquelas duas bolas d'água e vai desenvolvendo até chegar uma um estágio que ela pode estourar lá dentro. Quer o suco agora, Thiago? Quero. E ele passou por todo o procedimento, né? Porque é muito sofrimento, entendeu? Foi um período muito difícil pra gente, muito difícil. Try putting that left foot on the ground, too. So put that left foot down, now step up with the right. Despite having overcome so much already in his life, the severity of this injury sank in quickly. Good. And with it, tremendous self-doubt. The first days, the first two weeks were very difficult. I couldn't sleep, I 
né, de sentindo dor. Eu não, não, não queria comer para não ter que ir ao banheiro. Eu, eu cheguei a pensar em, em, em parar. Já não, não sou mais um garoto de 20 anos, então. When you're always coming into rehab, it's definitely a struggle from an athlete standpoint with their anxiety, mood, depression, things like that. You know, going from training full load into being in rehab, it messes with their minds a lot. Good. Perguntei ao médico, perguntei a, a, a rap, o pessoal daqui, né, se realmente eu voltaria a lutar 100%, porque se não for, eu não queria voltar a lutar. Se você fizer tudo direitinho que a gente está falando, seguir direitinho, fazer uma boa recuperação, você volta. Te dou 100% de certeza que você volta a lutar 100%. No stress, anything like that? Just normal walking. E é, é, é o que eu estou procurando fazer, fazer okay. tudo o que eles estão mandando. Good. Squeeze. Hold it. Now bend. There you go. Much better. One step closer. One step closer to 100%. One step closer to what he once was. A terrifying force inside the octagon. This guy throws bombs, stays in the pocket, and he has absolutely thunderous knockout power. Oh! The walk-off knockout for Thiago Santos! Prior to his knee injury, the Brazilian racked up 21 wins, 15 by knockout. He's throwing exemplifying his nickname, Maheta. This guy's got power. Translation, Sledgehammer. As a child, Santos found himself in a constant battle to stay alive. After catastrophic floods ravaged Rio de Janeiro in 1996, destroying his childhood home, Tiago's family and many of his friends and neighbors were forced to relocate to the infamous City of God. Antigamente, quando a gente chegou aqui, Foi um impacto do caramba, que a gente não estava acostumado com isso. Né? Não via arma na rua, não via tráfico, não tinha nada disso. Volta pela Bienal, porra. Assim, deu medo. A gente aqui quase não saía de casa no começo. Tinha medo de botar a cara na rua. Aqui é difícil, porque assim, você está na rua, você não pode... Você não sabe se você pode voltar para casa. Você está em casa, você... De repente começa o tiroteio, entendeu? Você não pode sair. Então eu já passei quatro, cinco dias aqui sem poder sair de casa. Ah, já, já tive amigos presos, amigos baleados, mortos. A gente também teve a opção ruim e a boa, né? A gente escolheu a boa. E graças a Deus, pô, um não fez besteira para os outros ter que ir fazer também. Não tem, infelizmente, eles, alguns optam por, essa, por esse caminho e é, não tem outro destino, né? Ou é preso ou é morto. Mas aí foi quando ele encontrou esse projeto social da capoeira. E aí tudo começou a andar melhor, entendeu? E graças a Deus ele foi pro caminho do bem, entendeu? Graças a Deus. No, no crutch. No crutch. No crutch. You can do it. We're kind of at the point where we want to start bridging him from using the crutches, being so dependent on those, to um, becoming full weight bearing. How's that pain out here? Is this better today? Still there. So today we're going to kind of take the crutches away, get him to walk across the room a little bit. Uh-uh, I don't know. I'm worried, you know, because I, I don't believe 100% in my knee, you know. But Bobby told me uh, I can't believe it. Okay, we're gonna go 
down to that last table. That's a process. In my mind, I, I don't believe yet. My off that toe. Remember? Just remember small steps. Okay, turn around. So kind of just making him see, you know, the small achievements along the way, like taking the crutches away, and then eventually we get to the point where he'll be able to walk and not have the brace. And so it's the, it's the small gain. See, there you go. That's good. I believe more by me. You know, uh, I think almost that I will, I will walk in. I feel so happy for, for this. It's all a confidence issue. Confidence is something that has been ingrained in the 37-year-old since he was a boy, learning martial arts at a social project in his favela. Today, Santos owns and operates a social project of his own in an effort to afford the next generation what was once afforded to him. Hey, silêncio aí, ó. Cumprimenta aí, o mestre chegou aí, ó. Thiago. Boa noite, boa noite. Boa noite. Boa noite. E aí, tá tudo bem com vocês? Sim. Como é que estão as aulas aí? Legal. Tão boa? Sim. Tá bom. Cara, a realidade da maioria das crianças aqui, é, não todas, mas muito, muitas, é, tem algum caso na família de envolvimento, infelizmente, com, com tráfico de drogas. É, muitas crianças têm um pai preso. Vai? Boa. Projeto social como esse é muito importante para as crianças, para além de elas estarem estudando, né? Elas ocuparem o tempo dela também e através do esporte é, socializar e ter mais disciplina, né? Respeito, todas as as, as coisas que o esporte é, prega. Né? Vamos lá, todo mundo cara de mal, vai. Cara de marreta. Quando vai entrar na luta, vai. Só quero que eles sejam boas pessoas. Que eles, que a corrente, né, continue indo. Então esse é o meu, meu objetivo. More than a year removed from reconstructive surgery on both knees, Tiago Santos is living in South Florida with fiance and fellow UFC fighter, Yana Kunitskaya. The pair met just prior to his title fight against John Jones, and Kunitskaya has been by his side ever since. She had the hard work with me, you know. I can't walk. She uh, take me, put in chair, go to car, put me in, uh, inside the car. I'm here, use my chair. And Yana. Yeah, time with uh, wheelchair was most hard time because wheelchair was so heavy. Yana, how is your workout today? Hard? I like it. I like it. I like the workout. <laughs> yeah. She changed my life, you know. Everything became better when I met her. I'm so shy when it's been good. <laughs> I'm so shy as a camera. <laughs> Training camp at American Top Team is in full swing, and Santos is just weeks away from his long-awaited return to the octagon against perennial contender Glover Teixeira. No light heavyweight UFC history has finished more opponents than this man. He can say, I can say, wow! The end might come here, and it does! This is where Glover's got it. That's it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This could very well be it. Mercifully, it's over! And the winning streak for Clover Teixeira, remarkably, is four. Clover is a tough guy. He is a legend of the sport. I have all the respect to him, but I'm so hungry to be back to inside the octagon. There's a matter gonna happen with my body. If I can stand up, I will fight. 
And here he is, another one of the game's true good guys, the number one ranked light heavyweight contender, former world title challenger, Tiago Mahetta Santos. As many of you know by now, this is a layoff that dates to UFC 239 last July when he suffered some serious injuries, ended up having a torn LCL, PCL, MCL, and meniscus in his left knee, also a cracked tibia, partially tore the ACL in his right knee. But you fast forward about a year and a half, and somehow, some way, he's back and hopefully better than ever. Ready, let's fight. Oh! He's land with the right hand by Santos early. Heavy shots. He's hurt bad. Really bad. Mahete is on him. Teixeira's not having it. Now he's going to look to choke. And that looks sunk in, ladies and gentlemen. Waning seconds. Can Tiago Santos survive? Oh, that's all she wrote. He survived. Oh, wow. Saved by the bell. Teixeira trying to control posture. A big moment early round three for Mahetta Santos. So powerful. And Teixeira can eat such a shot and just keep scrambling. He's got the both hooks in. Back and forth, back and forth these two. And now Santos would appear to be fatigued. And Teixeira might be under the chin here. Glover Teixeira, five in a row. He's the number one contender. You got to respect both these gentlemen. I mean, for Santos to do what he just attempted to come back from those knee surgeries and face somebody on a win streak and a terror like Glover Teixeira. And Teixeira is the ultimate sportsman if you've ever met the guy. And I don't speak Portuguese, but you can be sure he said to Tiago Santos, you will be back. I'm sure I feel so sad because I don't like laws. I'm not born to laws. But you need to understand that it's part of life. Sure, you can learn it uh, when you win, but when you lose, you have uh, more things to learn, especially about, uh, about yourself. I always fight in my life for everything, whether I was a kid, Seed of God, so hard times. You need to believe in yourself, and uh, if you have a uh, right person around you who cares about you, it's so important. I feel alive again inside the octagon, and now I want to fight a lot, like uh, I always did before. I need to prove that I survived it one more time and prove for myself that I will be champion. I know I can do it. <laughs> 